Good evening, and welcome to the public information meeting for the Barracuda Bridge Replacement Project in Volusia County, Financial Aid Project Number 437935-1-31-01, Federal Aid Project Number D518001B. The project manager on this project for the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5, is Mr. Chris Dabson. Our purpose tonight is to keep the local citizens informed of what is planned for their community, as well as receive any input you might have and to answer questions. This is an informational meeting to share with you the plans for the design of a replacement bridge over the Canal Brandano Waterway. Public participation at this meeting is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, please contact either of the people shown here, or you may use one of the forms available in English, Spanish, and Creole at the registration table. The current bridge spans the Canal Brandano Waterway in New Smyrna Beach, as shown on this location map. The existing bridge is owned by the city of New Smyrna Beach and was constructed in 1965 of pre-stressed concrete beams and concrete deck with two 11-foot lanes, curbs, and metal handrails. The adjacent pedestrian bridge was added in the 1970s. The bridge is currently posted for 12-ton vehicle capacity and carries a water main, sewer line, and gas line. The proposed replacement bridge will also be constructed of pre-stressed concrete beams and concrete deck and will be longer than the existing bridge. The new bridge will have two 11-foot lanes, shoulders and rails, and an 8-foot pedestrian walkway. The bridge will be designed to carry all vehicle and utility loads with a projected service life of 75 years. Shown here is the existing bridge crossing the Canal Brandano between the Middle Way and Kia CC on Barracuda Boulevard. This slide illustrates the approximate configuration of the proposed bridge. The new bridge will be slightly longer than the existing bridge, and approach roadway work, including new pavement, will be part of the bridge construction. As previously mentioned, the existing bridge typical section consists of two 11-foot travel lanes, one-foot curbs, and bridge railings. The adjacent pedestrian bridge is six feet wide with railings. The proposed typical section will have the travel lanes and pedestrian facilities separated, but on one structure. There will be two 11-foot travel lanes with two and a half foot shoulders on either side, bridge rails, and an eight-foot sidewalk with a one-foot rail. A sovereign and submerged land permit will be required as part of the new bridge design. There is a trail project that is to be constructed by Volusia County and the City of New Smyrna Beach that will eventually connect to the new bridge. The bridge will have a perpetual easement parallel to all four bulkhead walls for construction of the new bridge and for future potential repairs. The design is set to begin and should be complete in the spring of 2020 and we anticipate construction to begin in the spring of 2022. Design costs are estimated at $778,000. Right-of-way acquisition costs are estimated at $197,000. And construction cost is estimated to be $1.2 million. The Department of Transportation values your opinion. 
please give us your comments by filling out a comment card found at the registration table and either dropping it in the comment box or returning it by mail to the address on the card. You can also give us your input by emailing the project manager at chris.dabson at dot.state.fl.us or in the Ask a Question link for project number 437935-1 under Future Projects on the CFL Roads website. If you have any questions or would like more information about the Barracuda Bridge Replacement Project, please contact Mr. Christopher L. Dabson at the address or email shown on this slide, or you may call him at 386-943-5227. You can also keep up to date with this project, as well as others in the area, by checking the CFL Roads website. We appreciate you taking the time to attend this meeting, and we look forward to hearing your comments on this project.